Hi Pre-K 1 and Pre-K 2. Today we're going to do Mount Ararat, a landscape, okay? This time you're going to need to do, this time you're going to need your paper to be sideways, okay? We're doing this picture where we're going to color it. The first step we're going to do is a horizon line. That's where the sky meets the ground. Okay, go ahead and do your horizon line. After your horizon line, we're going to do the little mountain called Little Zdik Masis and then Meds Masis. is the little mountain, Ararat, and then the big one. The little one's on the left if you're looking at this from Armenia. If you're looking at it from um, Turkey, it would be the opposite. All right? So let's put the little mountain here. Then I'm going to add my bigger mountain on this side. Those are pretty easy, right? You just need a little mountain and a big mountain. I would recommend erasing this little line where the two mountains meet. Okay, we're gonna add maybe some clouds in the sky. If you wanted to add any birds in the sky, you could do that too. And then add whatever type of green like greenery, grass, flowers that you want. The farther something is, the smaller it gets. So all my grass in the back needs to be small. All my grass in the front needs to be tall. All my grass in the middle needs to be medium, okay? So this is a rule you will hear about all the time from me. This is called perspective. It makes it look like it's far away. We are creating an illusion. You can do this with the crayons. You can do this with the pencil. I just wanted to show you before we begin, okay? So I'm gonna fill up my page with the tall grass in the front. I'm gonna do my medium-ish grass in the middle. And my little grass in the back. I'm gonna add some flowers, simple ones that you could do like uh, wild flowers. Just do like three little dots on some of your long grass. It almost will look like foxtails. Or um, just a pretty like those purple ones or if you want to do a different one, go for it. I'm not going to do it everywhere, just here and there. All right. So now I'm going to pick out my colors to do my sky first. All right, so for my sky, I'm going to use a broken crayon and do it with the side to fill it in faster. Oops, I went over my cloud a little bit. That's okay. I'll go around it more carefully. After you do that, you can kind of fill it in a little better wherever you missed a spot by using it more like a pencil. So I finished filling in my sky. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the grass. I'm gonna lightly go over the grass with a broken crayon, broken green. Don't throw away those broken pieces. They're perfect for things like this. Mm. 
Now I'm going to fill in the mountains. All right, now with the green crayon, I'm gonna go back over some of my grass and darken it. We don't wanna see the pencil. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this, just like we did with the pencil earlier, to give it texture. Texture means how something feels. We know grass is green, but how does it really look? It's not just solid green, we actually, there's little pieces one by one, right? Obviously, we're not going to draw every single piece. That would take us forever. We're just going to kind of fill up this page. The ones I'm going to do the flowers on, I'm going to make a little nicer, obviously, too, so they can stand out. Okay, so I'm going to go back to these flowered ones. And fill them in better. Then I'm going to pick, what color was this? Was this purple? No, it's brown. Here's my purple. I'm going to fill in those little circles I put for the flowers with the purple. And that is it. We have our Mount Ararat page. I hope you guys had fun. Show me your pictures in the comments. Have a good day. Bye-bye.